Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about something that should be on everyone's mind, home security. Now, I found a very good, cheap camera that you can use for home security. Now, about five years ago, I got this little baby here. If you can see it, it is a security camera. It is an outdoor one as well. But the problem with that is, as you can see, it is wired. You gotta hook it up to your ethernet and you gotta have a computer on inside your house. The problem with that is if the burglar is your computer, you're screwed. Now here in the UK, you can get other things, other security cameras like the Hive security cameras, Nest and all that type of stuff. The problem with those is subscription. You gotta buy a subscription service. Now I found a product that is very cheap and there's no subscription and it backs up online automatically. And you can control it all by phone, you don't even need a PC. So let's get into it. And here it is. Now that camera I was just talking about cost me about £250 when I bought it. About five years ago this. These cameras, £20 each. Now if you go on the website, they are the Nia Smart Cam. You can get both of them for £20 each, plus £5 shipping. If you go on Amazon, if you only need one, £25. That's it. No subscriptions, no nothing. Now this is the webcam, here. As you can see, it's got a stand. And in the bottom, it's got a couple of things which you should note. Here is the start button, is the connect button, set up button type thing. This is already set up. And here, you can fit a micro SD card to it. So it will record to the SD card all the time. On the back of it, is that's your power lead. Now you've got to use the power lead that comes with this smart cam. You can't use any other power lead. And also this USB port is not used. It's also got a speaker on it and it's also got microphones built in it as well. And there's a reset switch there. So that is the camera itself. It is a 1080p device and it can do night vision. So let's see how we've got it set up. So this is the other stuff you get with this smart cam. You get this, which is a metal plate because the bottom of the smart camera is magnetic. And this is a charging lead which goes to a plug. So to set these up, you need to go onto the app, which I'll show you in a minute, go through the setup. They've already done a video how to set it up, so now I'm gonna go through the setup. You just plug it in. Once you've got it connected to your phone, go to where you want to do, plug it in like this. Then you just clip something like that so it's magnetic. And then you can move it around and do whatever you need to do. So, let's go to the phone and see what that looks like. So this is the app that comes with the cameras. I can see I've got two of them. So if we go into one of the cameras, this is the camera at my front door. That there is a live preview of the camera. As you can hear, it is actually picking up my voice now. So that's how good the microphones are. This is a hallway, but it's in the hallway about 10, 15 meters away from me. So just to um, shut that up, I shall mute it. Right, so now it's muted. Now, as you can see, it has detected some stuff here. So let's, I think it is this one. No, it's not that one. It's one of these that are actually coming to the door. Now, all this, well, what the camera does, when it detects movement, you can set it so, uh, there you go, that's me coming through the door. Uh, so I'll play this video again at the end of the video so you can see the proper quality of it. You can download it to your phone and then put it up to Google or whatever. Well, this does, the cameras, every time they detect movement or noise, you can set it to detect noise as well. 
they put it so then it is 12 seconds in the cloud for free forever so there's no subscription service to this now let's have a quick look at the options here now you can see it's got night vision and it's got image quality time watermark status light rotate image 180 degrees if you notice the camera in the kitchen is upside down but the actual image is the right way up that's because of that and motion tagging is the green rectangle you see in the video now it can detect motion or it can detect noise detection as well now another good thing about this is you can get live view so if we have a look at the kitchen As you can see, this is how I'm actually recording this now. This is a live image. If I press this. Hello. Hello. I don't know if you can hear it. But it will, you can actually speak live through to the camera to whoever's in your house, basically. Now you can take a snapshot and you can also record it manually as well. To your phone, directly to your phone. The other thing with this app, it is, you can set it, which I have not set, you can also set it to enable auto arming when you go out of a certain radius. Now I'm not going to show you the map of where I am, but the problem with this is for me, is the radius is too big. Now I have actually spoke to the people and they said it's a problem on Google's end, because the radius is too big, that's a minimum the API can support apparently. But you can also set it so you can arm it manually as well. So what I've done is I've set it to arm manually normally. And then if I go out on my bike for instance for a bike ride. Because I'm, it's going to take me a lot quicker to get out of the radius. I set it to auto arm so I don't have to arm it before I set off. Now these cameras are called NEOS smart cameras. Now I shall play the video at the end of this. And that will be the end of the video. If you like the video then please press the like button. And also subscribe to the channel. And this is Blackjack, signing off.